Um, well, when she was a little girl, she was just an average little kid. But throughout her uh, beginning elementary school years and then middle school years, um, there were some things that maybe gave us a hint. You know, she wasn't frilly, she was very athletic, although that really has nothing to do with nothing, honestly. Because um, she dated boys. And um, one day she just, we've got a close knit family and we believe in talking and I have gay siblings. So it wasn't a far-fetched thing. And my kids were always raised to, um, to uh, believe in love, honor, and respect first. So they did not find out about their um, uncles and their aunts um, lifestyle until they were older, old enough to understand it. And by that time, the foundation relationship had already established based on love, honor, and respect. So when they found out um, that they were gay, it was like, oh, well, okay. You know, and so um, I think that that really helped to kind of lay the foundation for Erica. And, um, and we're just, you know, I've just always had a habit of laying on their bed and saying, hey, what's up? And so it kind of lent itself to uh, an opportunity you know, and um, her dad and I talked between ourselves and wondered, um, but we never asked any questions. Just you just wait. We were in the kitchen, and um, and she she uh, it was through a series of misfortunate events. Really, um, she's a musician, and she was part of her uh, youth group, and um, we had known a little bit before that in high school. Um, she's always been very friendly with her peer group and um, she just kind of gravitated to this one particular girl and um, you know she told us that they were friends and after a month or so told us that they were were dating. Um, she wasn't old enough to drive at that time so dating meant you know hanging out at school <laughs> or going to the mall or you know things like that. Um, but I think really it was more that she, um, she was, she was concerned about how we would react, um, but not so much so that she lied. She, she didn't lie about it. And I think having, um, gay uncles and a, and a gay aunt kind of helped her to know that everything's going to be okay, you know. And when news like that comes out, it's everything just comes crashing down for that split second. Um, so with, with Pearl, we, um, we took things very slowly and the most important thing is, um, you know, we were all crying and just told her, um, I just, I took her face in my, in my hands and I just said, I love you and the rest of it we'll deal with as time goes by. You know, I love you and we'll learn together. And uh, it hasn't been easy. It's been rocky, um, but it, it is what it is. You know, uh, somebody my, somebody asked my mother one time. You know, how do you how do you do that? How, how do you how, how can you still stand by your kids? How can you still navigate all of that? You know, how, how do you deal with that? And she said it's very simple, and it's that simple for me too. Um, Erica's my daughter and I love her, period. It's that simple. You're my child and I love you, period.